right, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The ninth TIJ International Forum on the Rule of Law and Sustainable Development has finally come to an end. On behalf of the Thailand Institute of Justice, or TIJ, I would like to take this opportunity to express sincere gratitude to all of the distinguished speakers and participants from across the globe who made this forum successful by creating interactive and meaningful dialogues. I would like to give a special thanks to all the team from the TIJ for their tireless work in hosting a series of activities under the Rule of Law and Development program this week. We are also grateful for the dedication from the Institute for Global Law and Policy at Harvard Law School for the keynote lectures and the policy workshops. The activities throughout this week are a core component of the Rule of Law and Development program or role at the TIJ. The program aims to invite emerging leaders across sectors from Thailand, Asia, and beyond to participate since January. The International Forum today is our concluding chapter of this week to present some useful insights for public knowledge, showing how the rule of law, development, and leadership are closely interlinked. Today presented us with an opportune moment to explore the concept of the rule of law and its application in such a crisis time. The COVID-19 pandemic has not only altered conditions in which we operate, but has also widened inequality and injustice gaps in our societies. Earlier today, we have heard from Professor Kittipong Kittayarak on the close linkages between the rule of law, equitable development, and resilient leadership. We have witnessed how the rule of law serves to induce development through empowering marginalized and vulnerable individuals, as well as fragile communities. Without the rule of law, these affected populations are further left behind, oppressed, or even rendered voiceless. On top of this, the COVID-19 pandemic has demanded more from our leaders today, who need to thrive in the face of adversity and uncertainties. It is crucial for leaders to become as resilient as ever while adopting the rule of law as a guiding principle to redefine and build back better and more just, peaceful and equitable society for all. After that, Dr. Anak Seri Chetapong from the UNDP has painted a picture of the shifts in global development trends from the views of the vulnerable and marginalized groups capturing the true scale and disproportionate impact of COVID-19. This context has not only threatened to reverse decades of progress towards fully realizing the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, but also highlighted the need to center response and recovery efforts on the principle of leaving no one behind. Her session has been complemented by Governor Narong who drew experiences from Lampang province to illustrate how leaders applied a resilient in crisis mindset and translated it into actions in the fight against the COVID-19 outbreak, including vaccination campaigns and self-maintained isolation policy. Not only the mindset, but responsiveness of leaders system and teamwork must also be ready and integrated. Coupled with this, we have learned from first-hand case studies of resilient leaders and their vital roles in the COVID-19 response. Our young leaders from the World Network, Kun Eda Jitwapaisan Kun and Kun Santitan Satyan Thai, together with Kun Siri Pon from Wong, have elaborated the examples from the Singapore's policy measures and the collaborative efforts known as Klong Te Dijang model in Thailand. It is crucial to acknowledge that the current crisis presents each and every one of us with an opportunity 
to not only reconsider our resilience, but also rethink and redesign today's policies so they are responsive to problems of the future. As such, leaders are encouraged to adopt a futuristic and forward-leaning approach to prepare for the unforeseen circumstances. This has been touched upon in the Problem Labs session, which highlighted what multiple layers vulnerabilities would look like 30 years down the road. The future foresight methods used have allowed us to reframe how to craft a more conducive legal landscape that would be able to address social justice challenges of the future. On the other hand, the COVID-19 pandemic could be viewed from legal, political, and economic perspectives as seen in the panel discussions. Our panelists, Professor David Kennedy, Dr. Am Tang Miran, Dr. Girida Palpitit gave a thought-provoking dialogue about the challenges for global governance and coordination during crisis, comparative approaches between Western and Chinese camps, and the balance between economic, healthcare, and political viewpoints in responses, all thanks to our moderator, Dr. Natako Monwatin, for this very interesting discussion. From this, Julie Rieger from the World Bank has illustrated how the outbreak has severely impacted the rule of law and delivery of justice from a legal perspective and how the World Bank's operational responses have complied to the key elements of the resilient mindset while placing priority on actions and truly applying the principle of leaving no one behind. Ultimately, I hope that these enriching dialogues and examples from each session have shed light on the importance of becoming resilient in order to withstand a challenge of our time while safeguarding the voices of the most marginalized and vulnerable. On behalf of the TIJ, as the affiliated institute within the UN Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Program Network, I would like to reaffirm our belief in the promotion of the rule of law as the cornerstone of our societies, as well as a guiding principle for robust response and rapid recovery efforts to build back better and more inclusive post-COVID-19 world. We will continue to foster participatory and multi-stakeholder platforms such as this one, the TIJA Public Forum, in order to broaden perspectives and encourage discussions on how to translate the rule of law into actions. Our support for active participation and ongoing engagement with non-traditional actors or those outside of the justice and legal field has emphasized our core belief that justice is everyone's matter. I would like to conclude this session with a short note that leadership is required at all levels of our societies. I truly believe that everyone is a leader in their own way, regardless of how having or not having authority. The ebb and flow of the COVID-19 pandemic has demanded the leaders within all of us. It is my utmost hope that you are more equipped than ever to rise to the challenge of a generation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Vise. And that concludes the TIJ Public Forum on the Rule of Law and Sustainable Development. On behalf of everyone here at the TIJ, I would like to express my deepest appreciation to all of our speakers and, of course, all of our distinguished guests joining the forum. Please take a moment um, to uh, complete the evaluation form, which our staff has sent in the chat box. Your valuable uh, feedback will help us improve and become more resilient for our upcoming events. Please also visit our website at worldwideweb.tajpublicforum.org for all of the speakers' presentations and related documents, including the recordings for all our keynote speeches and discussion panels from this event and also past events. And also news and announcements for upcoming events and of course our 10th public forum celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Thailand Institute of Justice. Once again, thank you all for joining. Please uh, stay safe and healthy and goodbye.